So I don't know if you noticed, but Kone for Lions, Anikola Paul, Swallow, and the other one, they're a bit different from the rest of his body of work. It turns out that he was the same colorist that did all three movies. They had this certain brown, earthy um, feel to it, which I found quite um, aesthetically pleasing. I've been very curious to figure out what's going on, what's, what's different about it. Now, this would be a good place to note the look of a film is not achieved in the color grade right from production design the costume and then cinematography color grading is kind of like the the orchestra the one that brings it all together and just fine tunes it a little bit more so let that be a disclaimer that even though i'm going to try and dissect and see what it's like it doesn't mean that what we're going to come up with at the end of this video once you slap it on any footage your films will just start looking like an equal up or this thing no it will not <laughs> okay now I did do a bit of research and actually found the, the colorist and that's Jason R. Moffat. I hope I got the pronunciation well. So I did reach out, I found him on LinkedIn. These were some of my observations. I noticed that the white levels were usually around um, 768 and 640 IRE. Now look at this shot, you can see 768, 640. You can see that's right around where most of the information is peaking of course some go a little bit higher because it's daytime that's the sky let's have a look at this other shot that's her you can see right around there between 768 and 640 so that's what i meant by that and then the shadows of blacks were lifted they didn't touch zero ire look at it that's this is zero ire you can see that's where it, it doesn't touch it by the time we come even to this one look at it it doesn't touch it and this is interesting too the red channels seem to be the ones that are closest to the zero ire which makes me think in the shadows there is more green and blue as opposed to red because if it's red that is mostly at the bottom that means the rest of them are lifted a little bit higher that's an observation i'm making now that i didn't even notice before i messaged him and also there was less contrast there's just less contrast in the image i mean look at this now you feel like this image has contrast right watch this now let's bump up the contrast now that's a contrasting image, all right? I did do a little bit of research on him and he uses a lot of film emulation. If you don't know what film emulation is, this is not the video I will start explaining it to, but <laughs> you go read it up for yourself, please. I felt like he used one particular one. I don't know, Kodak, Fuji. And then I was like, finally, their skins are so smooth, like extra, extra smooth. Like it's really smooth. Look at that. Look at that. Did you apply any form of um, digital uh, makeup, like a soft effect lens filter or something like that? He actually replied, but I'll get straight to the things that he did share with me. With regards to the IRA levels, he said he did not stick to the numbers, but he definitely brought down the white levels, which subconsciously it seemed to be falling between that seven um, 600 range. And he said something very important. He said a sky should never reach full range. The brightest point in your image doesn't always have to get to 1000 IRE so that's a lesson for you guys to learn and me too he said that is reserved for specular highlights so that's reserved for like really bright stuff so maybe like perhaps the middle of the sun that's like the really bright the really bright spot like there was plenty of diffused lighting which lended itself to the lifted blacks he said he didn't do any digital uh, makeup that was probably just a soft light with uh, really good makeup up the combination of that that led to those extra smooth skin tone i'm not convinced because he did say he cannot recall every single part of it but i feel like there was some form even if it wasn't like full on um, digital makeup it could have been a soft effect filter on the lenses in the Vinci Resolve, there is the mid details. By reducing the mid details, we're actually smoothing out the mid tones, which is where the skin usually sits. And then finally, with regards to film profiles, um, he couldn't mention a particular one. This guy is good. He actually used a software, it's called Lattice. Lattice can actually take a film emulation lot and actually tweak it to work for what he wants to do. So this part is beyond my 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 current <laughs> so now with this observations and with this research and with this information that jason has been so wonderful to give us i am now going to take this footage hey he's wearing blue i intentionally wore this blue shirt even though i don't like it but and there's some brown behind him and there's some brown 
behind me so uh, and we're going to apply some of the things i'm going to talk about and we'll see what i come up with and i will be sharing with you what i discovered what i did what i didn't do by the time i'm done all right So we started from here, log, uh, using the Hansel Pro. So it's specific to, to our C70 and our log to cinema gamut. So from here, we brought it down to this, adjusted the exposure, and then we went ahead to apply uh, Fuji film, Fuji color print industrial 100. Listen, we made, an, we made some adjustments to our shadows to try and balance out the contrast as much as we could. We, we added that uh, little bit of smoothing to our skin. We worked on that. Then in order to push out some of the green and just bring out more of our skin tone, we, by the way, under the Hansel Pro, uh, sorry, I forgot to, so the bloom, the bloom is there. I forgot to mention that, sorry. And then finally to have that overall sort of wash, we pushed a little bit more into looking at it now i feel like my overall image is a bit too saturated so i just dialed down the saturation just a little bit more it's not perfectly there but uh, i mean I, I i think we came close i tried so that is it guys what do you think did you do a good job does this look like any club if you found this video helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you actually get notified when the next video comes out thank you for watching and bye